Hey, what's up guys? Virginia, the Buckeye Gamer here. Um, I'm sorry, I probably don't look the best. Um, I just wanted to kind of get this video out here um, because I've got so much to show off right now. It's kind of getting a little ridiculous, but um, I do have a fairly large pickup video to kind of go over today. And some of these games I have played, some I haven't. So we'll just kind of go over them really quick. Uh, the majority of them I haven't because I got a lot of these games here fairly recently. Um, but we're gonna just gonna start off with a PS5 game that I got. Actually, it's two games, but it's in a compilation. It's a Neo and Neo 2 Remastered. Now, I did just recently get the PS4 versions of these, but I think I might either trade those in or give them to somebody else who might want to play. Because um, I, the Remastered Edition I did here is a lot better. And I think it did add some extras. I could be wrong on that. But um, let me know for sure if you anybody out there knows. Um, and then the next one is a Saturn game. Um, this is Nights into Dreams. Now, I did play, um, there was a Knights game on the Wii that I did play, and I actually enjoyed that one. Never played the original Saturn, um, but I am looking forward to it once I get some time. And I actually, I did for, almost forget this. Um, this actually came with a really funky Saturn controller. Now, that actually looks kind of neat. It almost reminds me of the Duke controller for the original Xbox, if you guys have ever seen that. I'm sure many of you probably have. Things a beast. Uh, but anyway, so moving on to the next one, uh, PSP game, haven't got a chance to play it yet, but it's called Blazing Souls, really interesting looking JRPG, can't wait to get into that of course. And then these games I had, I did play the original versions of it, but I'm looking forward to digging into the HD collection, and that is Grandia. Now this was a limited run release, as you can see there on the, on the back, and then of course it comes with a collectible card and a little instruction manual. I always think that those are cool. And then the next game I have also a Switch Limited run release and that is the Panzer Dragoon remake. Um, so again, never played the original. I played a little bit of Panzer Dragoon Orta, but I am looking forward to uh, digging into this remake here pretty soon. This actually took close to a year to get. I ordered it like right before the pandemic um, was causing all the shutdowns. So, but there was a lot of other delays besides that, like they had to um, do a quick update on the, well, I wouldn't say it was a quick update, but did have to do an update on the game to fix a few bugs. But again, here you have the card and the instruction booklet. And then it also has like a little uh, foam uh, case here to cushion the game case. All right, so we're gonna I do have a hard time kind of closing this up here. Let's see. I remember when I looked into, when I first got this, it had issues closing. There we go. All right, I think that's good. Okay, now, next bit here, I do have a PS3 game that I kind of picked up on a whim, but it looked really hilarious, and this one I actually played quite a bit of, and that's called Mini Ninjas. So it's basically like a cartoony samurai ninja type of, I guess you could say maybe a platformer. Um, but it, it's pretty hysterical. It's one of those things you kind of have to experience to understand. Um, but yeah, I, I just, for $5, I couldn't beat it, but it, it just looks so hysterical. Like I had to try it. All right. Now I also have a pretty hefty stack of PS4 games here. Now I'm going to show off a couple that I've actually had for a while. Um, and just didn't get a chance to show them in the pickups video. Um, so this first one I have here is called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. Um, I do eventually wanted to get into playing this at some point. This is the uh, European release of the game. I don't know. I've never seen this in the States. Now, I could be wrong, but when I ordered this off of Amazon, they sent me the European release, which is fine. It's basically the same game. Um, I have never seen that this game in the States though. So I don't know if we never got a physical release or what the deal was with that, but uh, looking forward to playing it. I do like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I've read the manga. Um, I haven't really kept up to speed with a lot of manga reading over the last couple of years, but uh, it's another thing I want to get into. So maybe you'll see videos on that. Um, next one I have here is actually a remake of a PS3 game and that's Nino Kuni, A Wrath of the White Witch. So it's actually a remaster, not a remake. Um, but this is one of my favorite games on the PS3, and I actually still have it in my collection somewhere. Um, 
really fantastic JRPG. You know, Studio Ghibli had a lot to do with the story writing and the art, as you can tell. And I love Studio Ghibli movies. They're some of my favorites of all time. Um, so I actually also have a digital version of that on the Switch. They had a sale and I had some money I didn't know what to spend it on. So I went ahead and got the digital version of that, which is the one I've been playing. Um, as you can see, this one's kind of still in its shrink wrap. But I do plan on uh, getting the PS4 version when I have some time. So now this one, I got a bunch of games actually at GameStop today. I was up there just kind of looking around and seeing what they might have. Um, and they had stacks of games. They were like, the entirety was like $26, uh, which included a year protection on all the games. So I'm just trying to take off. I should have done this prior to the video. I'm just trying to take off some of the price stickers. Um, but these were some pretty interesting looking games. And there's a couple in here that I have been wanting to try. So again, for the 20 something dollars, it's kind of hard to pass up. So we're gonna we get all the stickers off of here. Sorry guys, I should have done this before. Usually I take the stickers off, but I didn't for some reason today. All right, so we got first off is Samurai Warriors. Now I've never played a Samurai Warriors game. Um, it is, it kind of is like the Dynasty Warriors franchise, which I have dabbled into that a little bit. Um, not necessarily my favorite, but Samurai Warriors looks like it has an interesting take on it. So I definitely will give that a try. Um, and then this one, I really know nothing about. It's called Lords of the Fallen. And this is the complete edition. So it kind of looks like to me. Okay, so it says, let's see here. Uh, okay, it says, uh, become Harkin, a man tormented by a history of evil deeds that weigh heavily upon his conscience. His dark past holds the key to saving both himself and humanity. When a fallen god unleashes his demonic army, only Harkin can stand in its path. So i kind of give you guys a quick look on that. I didn't really look into this a whole lot. But again, with the deal that they had, you couldn't really pass it up. So uh, let's see. We did Samurai Warriors. Uh, let's next here. So this is New Gundam Breaker. This has to do with the Gundam franchise. It's really popular in Japan. Um, I don't know too much about it. I know it is gaining some popularity here. But yeah, it's like a mech uh, robot style kind of uh, action game there too. So, again, I'll try this out when I get a chance. But again, with the deal, couldn't really pass it up. So, I'll set that there. Now, this one I didn't get the original case for. But again, that's okay. I'll get it at some point. It's a game called Locks Quest. Now, again, initially, I didn't know anything about this. But I did look into it a little bit further. And I guess this is actually a remake of a Nintendo DS game. Now, again, of course, I never played it originally. Um, but looking at the disc and some videos that I watched, it looks like it's a really interesting, like a tactical RPG tower defense sort of game, I guess would be the right way to put it. Um, but it looks pretty cool. It definitely looks pretty cool. So this one I might actually dig into a little sooner than, uh, some of these others. So I'm going to try to get all these stickers off. I need to invest in like Ugon or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> this next one, uh, was actually a game I've been meaning to check out for quite a while initially on the Switch, but they had this once on sale pretty cheap and it's called Untitled Goose Game. Now, um, looking basically on the pictures because I've never really seen too much of this game like any gameplay uh, footage of it or anything like that, but you're basically this goose and you're going around. Uh, let's see, okay, so it says Untitled Goose Game is a slapstick self state stealth sandbox where you're you are a goose let loose on an unsuspecting village make your way around town from people's back gardens to the high street shops to the village green setting up pranks stealing hats honking and generally ruining everyone's day it says featuring a horrible goose which is you a town full of people just trying to get on with their day but you hate them and a dedicated honk button so <laughs> i might actually do a live stream on this um I, I've got a feeling this is going to be pretty hilarious to dive into. Um, it's got got some goodies in here. Um, it's like some stickers and instruction booklet, art booklet, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Oh, oh. 
whoops, dropping stuff. All right, so we got all the PlayStation S games out of the way. Let's move on to some Xbox. So starting off here, I got two original Xbox games. Um, this one I actually got for just a couple bucks, but it looked pretty neat. It's called Full Spectrum Warrior 10 Hammers. Now it's a, you know, a, a combat um, war shooter type of game. So you basically, from what I can understand back here, as you can, you can command your own squad, like your own military, um, control different mechanized units and things like that. Um, again, I didn't really know much about it. It was just a blind buy and I figured my husband would really enjoy it because he does like war games. Um, so again, whenever we get a chance, we just have so many games and been so busy here lately, it's kind of hard to keep up with a lot of this. Now, this next one, I actually played um, the remastered version of it and actually completed 100%, uh, but that's Shenmue 2. Now, Shenmue was actually a series, if you don't know, that came out on the Dreamcast, first of all. Um, so we in the States, we got the first um, Shenmue game on Dreamcast, but PAL in Japan also got Shenmue 2 on Dreamcast. Now, we unfortunately did not, um, but we did get it on the original Xbox which was a little bit more powerful, but that's a story for another video. Um, but this actually comes with a lot of extras, so I don't know if the other regions got this, um, but they do have the game. So as you can see how they do have the game, but there's also, and I didn't know such a thing even existed, but there's a Shenmue movie on DVD. Now, again, I've never heard of it, so definitely would be looking into that because I'm really curious um, to see what that's like. So anyway, so moving on, I got a bunch of 360 games. Now these, of course, stickers are on here kind of tight. Um, but so uh, when, again, these are games I got at GameStop today, so I haven't had a chance to try them out. Uh, but they both, they're look like pretty nice um, shooter, like military shooter type games. So first one I have here is Spec Ops The Line. So it says here it's an intense and unique war shooter. Um, so it looks like it takes place in Dubai. Um, actually Dubai was wiped off the map, huh? So I'll let you guys kind of take a quick peek here, see what you think. So anyway, I'm gonna set that aside. And then this one, this is the XCOM Enemy Within Commander Edition. So I'm not familiar at all with the XCOM series, but I do hear it is pretty cool, you know, pretty good. Not perfect, but worth checking out. Um, so this is a standalone expansion to the 2012 strategy game of the year in Cleveland. Okay. Mm, okay. I'll let you guys take a, again, take a quick peek here. So pretty interesting to I can try that out when I get a chance. And then this next one is the game I've actually been wanting to get for quite a while. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Fallout series. I've tried Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. That was a dumpster fire. But anyway, um, I, I've um, had a lot of people tell me that I really need to check this game out. Because as far from what I understand, it's actually one of the highest rated Fallout games currently. Um, if not too... If, not the highest rated, um, but that is Fallout New Vegas. Now I got the Ultimate Edition, which does come with some extras. Now this initially, when it came out, it says here is a GameStop exclusive. So you do get a map and a Vault Boy poster. So I think I'm just gonna leave those there. Um, but yeah, everybody says that this is the best Fallout game, so I definitely can't wait to try it out. I do think this is on Game Pass um, for Xbox, so if it is, I might just play it through Game Pass and keep that looking pretty. So now this uh, next one is a compilation a trilogy uh, from a series from Bioware. And you might know where I'm going with this if you're familiar with Bioware. Um, but it, this is um, like an RPG action series that I have been told to check out, never did. Um, and the first game I hear is getting a remake. So this um, of course is the Mass Effect trilogy. Now, everyone tells me that the first Mass Effect is nothing special. But Mass Effect 2 and 3 is where they really knock it out of the park. So, again, when I get a chance, I'll probably forever have a huge backlog. 
but when I get a chance, um, definitely want to try these games out. And I hear they're not incredibly long, so I guess that's a good thing because I'm looking for shorter RPGs. But anyway, so here's what the uh, compilation looks like. Got a couple little inserts here. But those are codes here, so it's probably all being used. And if not, they're probably expired at this point. So, all right. I'm just going to put that back in the sleeve. Set that aside. And then this last one, I know nothing about. Uh, but this is actually a collector's edition for a game called Alan Wake. Now it says here this is a psychological action thriller, so I don't know if this will fall under survival horror uh, or not. I, again, I don't know too much about it. I didn't look into it a whole lot, um, but I love how this looks here. This kind of this looks like a book. So you open it up, and again, you do get some extras here. So you get the game, which this isn't in a typical casing. It kind of just looks like a. If, like a DVD if you didn't know any better. Um, and then you've got Alan. Oh, no, wait a minute. This, hold on. Okay, so yeah, so this is the game. I'll show you guys here real quick. And then you also have this. So this is a, a couple discs in here. I'll try to flip this around so it looks a little better. To have a couple discs in here. So you have the bonus disc, which I'm guessing that's probably either DLC or just some bonus material to look at, and then a soundtrack, which is pretty neat. And then there's the casing that it came in. And then this is the Alan Wake Files, which is a pretty nifty, almost like a mystery novel or book. I don't know if this goes hand in hand with the game. Um, again, I, I have to get into this a little further to really know for sure. So but pretty excited to have that in the collection. So I'll have to try that out. I do have a lot of time off work coming up for the next couple of months, so should be able to get caught up on a few things. Alrighty guys, a pretty, pretty hefty pickups video. Again, I've been sitting on some of these for a few months, so I did have a chance to stock up here. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a little like and comment down below, subscribe if you wish, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a great night. And keep on gaming.